right, so here's the deal. We are now at the part of the process of our cutting boards where normally I cut them into strips on the bandsaw. A lot of people, a lot of you, uh, are confused as to why I don't use the table saw. And that's because it's my opinion that I think that the bandsaw is a little faster. Now that's my opinion. I have never tested this out. We're gonna try to test it today because like, that's just my opinion. Those are just guesses. So we're gonna take a very unscientific approach and try to see which is better. We're Jenny and Davis. We fly through hurricanes for research and build furniture for fun. A while ago, we came up with a business plan to sell quality furniture, which brings people together. Follow along as we build our business empire. Empire? Yes, Jenny, big goals. Okay, we're starting an empire. Maybe one day it'll span beyond the garage. Today, I am making more cutting boards. Jenny is busy flying Tropical Storm Peter, which is cool. I'm excited for her, I'm happy. I hope she gets some good footage. We'd love to share that with y'all. As soon as Jenny gets back, we're gonna start looking for a commercial space and we need to have enough inventory built up that during that transitional period, we're not scrambling to try and fulfill orders and make more product. So we're gonna put the big furniture projects on hold and have enough cutting and charcuterie boards to carry us through the gap. to rip these down on the bandsaw because these boards are wider than eight inches and I can't put those on my joiner. I didn't realize it until I got home, but now I gotta cut them a little bit so that we can have even intervals when we cut out the strips. Check this out. I think this is the most full I've ever gotten a trash bag from the dust collector. A lot of chips. Well, hopefully I can still tie it up. It's close, but we got it. You can do anything you set your mind to. Don't forget that. All right, so here's the deal. We are now at the part of the process of our cutting boards where normally I cut them into strips on the bandsaw. A lot of people, a lot of you, uh, are confused as to why I don't use the table saw. And that's because it's my opinion that I think that the bandsaw is a little faster. Now that's my opinion. I have never tested this out. It seems like the bandsaw doesn't have as much waste because you know the, the blade curve is thinner. Okay, it's not a huge difference, but some of you have pointed out that it leaves a rough edge. Well, I don't think that's a big deal because we're gonna plane them anyway. Once we do the glue up and the strips have the bandsaw, um, what it, ridges, those are gonna be facing the top and bottom of the board. So we're just gonna run that through the big old planer and it's not a big deal. Even if you got perfectly smooth edges from the table saw, you're still gonna have to do a glue up and plane the top and bottom to get it perfect. So in my mind, I think it's just a little bit faster and saves some material to just plane the bandsaw marks out of it instead of using the table saw, which takes up more material and then you still have to plane it anyway. We're gonna try to test it today because like, that's just my opinion. Those are just guesses. So we're gonna take a very unscientific approach and try to see which is better. 
So here I have basically four cutting boards worth of material. About the same size boards. I'm not going to be able to get it perfect. So these boards I'm going to make using the table saw to cut the strips out and then we'll measure the final thickness after we plane them and then we're going to use the bottom ones on the band saw and plane them after we do a glue up. So. So the bandsaw ended up making 4, 8, 12, 16, 17 little slats. Each cutting board we make takes six slats. Almost three cutting boards worth. I would have gotten one more, um, but this guy was just way too chewed up, so that's not the bandsaw's fault. Anyway, so onto the table saw now. All right, great. I'm so glad I got that on camera because saw's unplugged. Um, I'm so glad I got that on camera because that's what's happened to me every single time that I've tried to do uh, these strips on the table saw. As I push the wood through, I mean, you can even see it's not wanting to go on the blade right now. The internal stresses of the wood are squeezing on the riving knife and the blade. And without forcing it, making a bunch of smoke and potentially stalling the motor out, I don't know how to cut them out on the table saw. I mean, is, am I really overlooking something simple? Um, I'd love to know because if this method is a little bit faster, I, I do like these strips. I just don't know. Do you guys know what's going on? Before you start typing in the comments, here's what's going on. We got a regular size blade. It's the Infinity Super General Blade. Um, I've also tried a cheaper Diablo blade. Again, regular size 10 inch table saw blade. We have a regular adjusted riving knife. The fence is adjusted. It's not pinching the wood or anything against the blade. I checked that. I'm using, a I'm using a push stick. I've tried different saw blade heights through the material. That doesn't seem to make much of a difference. Um, and it's usually just with the maple that has a bunch of internal stress. And you can even see that on some of the bandsaw strips too. You can see them sort of curve and banana. I mean, that's a brand new bandsaw blade. It's, it's not wandering or anything. That's just internal stresses of the wood making it turn a little bit. Anyway, it didn't even matter that I didn't start the timer on time because I had to fiddle with the burning and everything of the table saw. I honestly thought I was gonna get all the way through these, but I could only get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven slats made before it started binding up and seizing on this piece of wood. And I can't just throw this whole piece of wood out. But please, if you know something I don't, I am not afraid to look stupid. Please let me know down in the comments and I'll try out your suggestion. I just can't keep this eight quarter material from burning on the table saw, but I can do it really quickly and easily on the band saw without even thinking about it. If you've never had this problem with eight quarter material, please, I'm not saying this just to be a troll, please upload a video to YouTube and like send it to us. Just tag us in the title of your YouTube video so we can see it. And we would just love to see what we're doing wrong, what you're doing differently with your eight quarter material that you're not getting any burning. I don't think the motor is stalling out. I mean, it's, I think it's a two horsepower motor on 220 volts, so I don't think power is an issue. I just think it's the internal stress squeezing on the riving knife and the blade. I would love to revisit this after you guys have enlightened us on maybe some things that we could try differently. So I guess I'm not gonna sit here and waste all afternoon like burning up with the table saw blade. So I'm just gonna put a pin in this little test until we can learn some more. Let's be educated, let's read up and let's try to get to the bottom of it and then we can try the test again if we learn anything new. So uh, for now, I'm just gonna finish this batch of boards like I have on the bandsaw and we'll just continue to keep making product. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. 
we're excited to share our journey with you and uh, learn along the way as well. I'm really excited about the comments in this video. I, I just know that the hive mind is going to solve this problem for us and we're just going to be able to, to move forward with a better production process for our business. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the plan.